So I guess in The Wolfman, it's more about insanity than it is about death. Though, of course, he does go around and kill, so there's that too. But to change into a wolf and lose yourself, it's a type of insanity. It's a type of craziness. Uh, after World War II, the classic monster-based, Mummy, Wolfman, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Dracula, these monster-based movies kind of faded around. And eventually there would be a new generation that would pop up with these and resurrect their own fears as a result of this. Uh, so we kind of went for a while where horror movies were still being made. They just weren't as prolific as they were. And I would dare say we have a prolific version of it in the 80s as well as now. And I would say in the 50s and 60s as well. And that's where we saw this resurgence it's talking about here. Uh, a lot of low-budget productions started to appear. A lot of these were specifically designed for the B-movie, the second movie in that slot. You know, no big-name actors or very few big-name actors. You know, maybe not a big um, director. Sorry, I just heard a beep or something. Um, and so two directors helped re horror return to the forefront. Uh, Alfred Hitchcock, which I don't think we can talk about horror without Alfred Hitchcock. A lot of people say he's more a thriller, but, you know, thriller, horror, same thing for the most part. And uh, Michael Powell, who um, did Peep in Time. We'll talk about him in a little bit. A uh, little bit. Um, and so these two had a big movie, I want to say 1960, it's on the next slide um, or so, but uh, these two both had something. So just to kind of show you an example of another earlier movie before we get away from the earlier horror movies, here's uh, the Cat People, or just Cat People from 1942, and we'll get into Hitchcock and Powell in just a second, and I'll see you after the clip. 